wouldn't, and we wouldn't do this series without you. And I really didn't want you to. <laughs> it is so great to be home. So, so the series was a few years ago. You look great. Um, but to be honest, I'm not sure you could still pass for 13. Oh, well, that only hurts a little bit, Gary. <laughs> the good news is, is just like me and everybody who loved Lizzie and grew up with her, uh, Lizzie's also grown up. Yeah, she's older, she's wiser, she has a, a much bigger uh, shoe budget, which is super exciting. And more expensive too, I think. <laughs> Just slightly. Um, she has her dream job. Um, she has kind of the perfect life right now. She has, you know, she's working as an apprentice to a fancy New York City decorator. Um, she has her dream guy who owns a cool Soho restaurant. She has her dream apartment in Brooklyn and she's getting ready to celebrate her 30th birthday. So Lizzie's life, Lizzie's life is looking pretty good, and yeah. so we hope that she's left all those childhood insecurities and vulnerabilities far behind in adolescence. Uh, not quite, because she is still dealing with that 13-year-old, no-holds-barred animated Lizzie <laughs> that's constantly babbling in her adult Lizzie head. So she has to deal with that, um, but I think that's what's gonna make her really special. I think, I think having 30-year-old Lizzie and 13-year-old Lizzie in your head is going to be a really interesting for storytelling. Anyway, we can't wait to have you back. This is a thrill for all of us. I know it's a thrill for this group out there.